be compared to Nicholas Heroes. The only problem is I, when you're on the offlane as Underlord, you can really play the equilibrium. Push in with the Firestorm, then side pull the hard camp, right? And that's a good play for you at any given point. But on the safe lane, you don't have that opportunity, and they're going on him again. Yeah, they haven't got enough damage this time, but it sends a message. Stay the hell away. Yeah, did you see Visage, like Kuro, he started with a Basilus. Actually, he just got it, but he had two mangoes before. So he just wants to spam out this whole assumption constantly. One thing that has to be highlighted, though, is that Bates' two other lanes are going pretty damn well. Mm -hmm. You know, Chrysalis is farming absolutely fine. Then look at Dendi, the comparison between him and we on the mid lane. Yeah, he's doing really well. He started with a wand, so uh, he has that uh, region, extra region, because of the sticky napalm to work with. Also, he had bought early boots to be able to run away from the Path Rider. And all he needs to have, actually, is a Nyx Assassin with the TP scroll at the ready. Every time a Bat Rider dives, 5-up needs to be ready to TP and just spike Carapace uh, the Firefly, right? The moment you sp <laughs> spike Carapace it, Bat Rider can't pursue any longer, so... I mean, just look at the pressure, though. He never gets a chance to do anything. There's GH mid, consistently though. consistently been kept at half HP. Nice pushback now. They'll move forward onto him. Uh, he might be able to actually get the kill first. GH is getting low. TPs are coming in. Now Fishman trying to help, but Dendi is down and out. We, he will die, but he gets the XP. Double kill Fishman for Fishman, gets a double is kill. it? Impetus, there it yeah. is. Ah, uh, very. very far. GH will live. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. If Nyx Assassin TP is there instantly, he just didn't have it, I guess. It was on cooldown still. If he had it, it's so much better. I guess the rough part about that is because the XP did go into the hands of we, that advice that was there for Dendi to begin with has kind of been evened up. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, it's all kind of, it's relative, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But at the same time, it's a little bit easier for Underlord on the top lane, and he might finally hit his level two at least, you know. So, uh. it's been a long time coming. We're almost at the first, well, the secondary, ru uh, secondary rune spawn time of five minutes for the bounties, and he has finally reached level two and a quarter on this Underlord. Mm. The problem is, he's also, he started with Atrophy Aura, so he couldn't even use Firestorm to push in the wave to then go on side pull. It's just a, just a mess of a lane for uh, bait on top. And some of those runes that were coming up, GH has zoned away the storm. So easy runes for we. Fishman will sneak one in, and I believe five up. Yeah, he did join that rune as well. So two apiece. All in all, though, still a concern about the fact that PL's getting whatever he wants. Mind control, gonna be purged off instantly. GH is here to assist, so they have to back away. Hero is coming as well, and they found yeah, Fish Man. Fish so yeah. Oh, you see? Trying to run away, but it won't work. Mind control even gets the kill. Even more beneficial on Chrysalis. Trying to doppelganger away. No cogs for five, so he will get out. Yeah, that, that's a rotation from two supports there. They only get uh, the Bambi and PL kind of survives. So he is forced back to the tower, but he's fine with that. He's going to wait a little bit for the creeps to push in and farm away. Uh, the more important thing is what is Nyx doing on mid? Now there's a jump. Nyx was waiting here for a long time. They move in with the ball line in and they'll be able to get the kill in the weave. GH is a little bit too far away to do anything. Look at that. Uh, Perfect timing for an arcane rune to appear. That's just perfect for Dendi. He can maybe go stack a little bit, farm the jungle, let experience on the mid lane for Nyx Assassin. Chrysalis bot. Or go bot, actually. Yeah. Uh, they can soul assumption here. Nice doppelganger, and there the TPM. Mind control will go down. Kuro, the follow up kill. He has got a mango. He can try for a soul assumption yoink, but he won't get a chance to. Yeah, he didn't have enough damage. Right he didn't have enough damage there to finish off PL anyway, so. Uh, nice doppelganger like you called before, dodging that sole assumption. And nice rotation from Dendi with the arcane rune. Instantly goes towards bottom. He got a kill on Bat, now he got a kill on uh, Necro as well. He's doing really well. Yeah, that's uh, why you buy clarities in bulk, lads. Alright. He clarities originally, he realizes the fight's going on, and by the time he's back to his original lane, he's pretty much full mana again. Uh, Weave's rotation is a little bit more precarious. It will work out for the best in the end. But not as much value found. It's still just Fishman, you know? It's just Fishman. He's fine with it. He's happy. 
he's happy he's he's dying for the pl standing in front of him gang taking all the gangs in it's a perfect combo of fishman as well right because you got the fisherman and the guy called fishman as well mm. my only concern right now for bait my big concern is miracle He's been left yes. alone, he's level six and a half, he's completely free farming, 45 last, it's 27 denies. And it's a case of what hero is going to do more in the next 15 minutes, a PL or an Ember? And we all know the answer to that. There's a reason this hero is banned so much, picked so much in the last few months. It's <clears throat> Ember Spirit all the way. Mid lane, V. Oh, jump him. Threw him up as well. These smart heroes here, GH is going to scare them off. However, he might be able to cut off their escape as Miracle arrives. We just said he's concerned. He's going to show us how much. Nice. Use the Searing Chance to connect on the two. The last two on the last hero means they might be able to find three, but full end away. Dendi, they're going to chase right through and kill him off as well. The fight between spirits, Ember comes out ahead. That's Big it. Mo, That's, the first... dead. That's the first rotation from the Ember. Obviously, everyone else helped out. GH with really good cogs, cutting them off. Uh, Visage as well, giving uh, some extra movement with the Grave Chill, slowing them down, that is. And then Miracle just comes in and clears, just cleans them up. Uh, but that's what you have to be worried about. And you asked, you said like, which hero is going to do more in the next 10 to 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes. It's definitely Ember, but later on, a case could be made that Ember is also the stronger one. He's the hero that works really, really well versus PL if he's farmed enough. That's true. It does depend on the build. Dendi with a cheeky little yoink in the mid lane. We is trying to chase forward, but... He doesn't have the lasso, so it's not really a kill. If GH had six, they would 100% be diving this right now. Still half a level away. Same for Nyx as well. Actually, it's crucial they get that Vendetta up online. It just feels like both of these fours are going to have so much impact with their sixes. Mm -hmm. um, Fish, uh, last hero is actually recovering quite well. But they do seem, and now GH will steal quite a lot of this experience. And that's a problem. He might even hit six after all these creeps. Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. Got he it. level six. Last hero did at least pick up the item before he could be hook shot. That would have been pretty rough with that guy, because it's a very nice item to have the yeah. keen optic. That's so unfortunate. You know, if he had that solo experience, he gets level six there, clock it remains five, and clock is forced to buy a tome. This way around, it's probably gonna be Visage that gets the tome and Clockwork is just chilling. He already has six, he can oh. do whatever. <gasps> Five up! He might be two down on the deaths at this point. Oh, nice fight, Carapus. He'll turn the stun for maximum effect. GH doesn't even need the hook shot. That was literally 0.1 seconds remaining on that TP about that. Searing Chains just perfectly timed by Miracle to get that kill. Last hero is gonna yoink two of the bounty runes on top. Uh, he knows because, his role uh, in this team. <laughs> he's been demoted heavily. Nice TP though. He hides behind the trees, TP's away. There is a smoke mid though. See if they can make it happen. GH didn't have to use the hook shot top, so he still got it for the mid. They'll jump straight in on the storm, pushing back. Last hero is there. Right of the way in arms of Wii. And they'll drag him in. They haven't quite got enough to finish him off though. Nice TP out by Dendi. But this yeah, does mean uh, you're surrendering uh, your tier one. Like, I, I actually don't agree with Kuro's build. Uh, a skill build, that is. I know that oh, he's, yeah. uh, he's one of the oldest Visage players in everything, but uh, I really think you max out Soul Assumption now on Visage. Grave Chill is amazing. It helps you push in much easier, right? But uh, I really think you get more from Soul Assumption. It's just such a strong spell at the moment. Especially with all the talents. I guess it's like in general, Bottom lane? yes, but against these heroes, you're worried Grave Chill is not enough. Bot lane Necro is completely on an island alone. Like the same the Tom Hanks story, it doesn't end well for him as he's going to be brought down. It's just hard for him to stay alive if Enchantress is involved. If he shrouds, there's just the enchant. If he doesn't, he just dies to the damage from the impetus and everything else. And Nyx has always been considered one of the strongest, stronger heroes versus Nyx. So, versus <laughs> Necro story, yeah. yeah. So. That's perfect. And I think the other thing to highlight this game, right, is that we mentioned mind control and how he's carried a lot for Nigma at the moment. Uh, but we've seen what happens when you just leave Miracle to do what he wants. And he's already on his way towards Odessa. I believe he has gone for the drums build. Yeah, they're coming out in the quarry now. So he's going to ramp up that aggression pretty quick. Does it feel like maybe they've overfixated on the Necro problem now they've got ones of their own? In fact, mind control. 
just Yoink's an easy kill in the last hero. But they're just trying to make the enemy offlane suffer as hard as their offlane is suffering. <laughs> you know, just try to Back even the odds, yeah. All in all, though, no push in off the back of that Enigma. It feels like they really want these early towers as well when you have a hero like Visage in your lineup. Usually, yes, but if your Visage is uh, support, right, it's it's not as easy. Why do I feel so posh when I say Visage, even though I know, even even though I know that's the right pronunciation, that's how he says it as well. But I just want to say Visage, you know, like shut up, Visage, <laughs> shut up, you're Visage, you, you, you squeaky little dead birds, shut up. <laughs> Look, if it's a French word and Englishmen are willing to use it, you know it's probably posh. Yeah. Like, you know, coup de grace, right? Yeah, yeah. Or coup de grace, if you don't know how to say it. Oh, there's so many words that are cute when you hear them said wrong. Well, you must get, you must laugh a lot talking to me. Anyway, uh, hey, then no, the about did. to finish Kaya. Um, so, uh, she's which, doing one quite these, well. which one of these position trees are you more Fish scared man? of in the next few minutes? Uh, I would say Necro, definitely. Like, he's more scary. Uh, Underlord, yeah, he comes online um, with pretty much his skill set. Doesn't need a lot here. But Do you think Necro is more scary. Down to take advantage of the, the Underlord for the maximum as well. Because hmm. you want to keep them in the Firestorm, right? To get the value out of it. They do have a lot of lockdown, really. You have the Impaled, you have the Spike Carapace, you're gonna have the Pit of Malice as well, and we might feel oh. all of that right now. Yep, feel the pain. They'll bring him down pretty easily here. If they find another pick, I'll even look to push further. In fact, Miracle needs to be careful himself. Spike Carapace onto him, he's dead. Perfect pick off, and Kuro might lose the birds now. They're chasing forward with the ball line, and Dendi, this is not even a level 2 ball line, he just has the Kaya. He has that much mobility. Mind control ruined up here. They can stun him again, he won't be able to move away. There it is. And they won't be able to get low enough just yet, but he's not feeling confident to move forward, not even for a scythe opportunity. Chrysalis just moving on through. This is just one for Oda Defiance. No Diffu online yet, but Kuro secluded, cut off from any reinforcements, and they are going to try and TP him back. We can he do enough here? Hookshot was used, but blocked by the illusions, and now the pit's going to go down again. They're separated from the fight. Mind Control just wants to use a scythe, but no good target. Miracle does arrive in the fight after respawning. Nice. Here and chains the lasso across. Dendi's going to be brought down. Nick Spike Carapace to move away. But there's going to be a scythe waiting for him to club into his face. And we'll be able to find the pick. Drum's going to come out, activate, and move forward on the fishman. He says, please, just let me get the rune. He achieves that objective before going down. But on the other side, Crystalis, looking for maximum gains, will yoink two runes. Will he? Maybe Ember one. has TP'd, yeah. So maybe only one. Let's see. Doppelgang. Ah! He messed Too up. Late. Yeah, he actually moved with uh, the doppelgang, but it moved his hero back instead. You know, when you when you hook, will he hook? He doesn't have a hook. Nah, he already he remember that hook shot got blocked by all the illusions in the bed. So he doppelganged a little bit too far off the cliff, and because of that, the hero the PL moved back and tried to circle around uh, to do yeah. it. Yeah. That plus he decided to hit creeps instead. Really carried. Uh, yeah. That is for certain. Classic one. By the way, that fight on the mid lane was actually two fights. They killed off uh, Miracle. He managed to respawn and join the fight again. Bait, they should have. Oh, okay. Oh, that's oh, uh, Well, they know there's no ward there for Nigma. Given the fact he just hook shot it into a mud golem. Trying to slow this down. That's a ravish. Stop them from defending. <laughs> Yeah, that's like that's like one of those ravages when the tide's on the other side of the map and no one's nearby. It's not a feels good ravage though. This. I mean, he's actually no. That from... is that's that's the comparative mm -hmm. to when someone chronos and then TP's out in their chrono. Or sells up all the teammates. That's also. A good oh, one. oh, the classics. Where is those he? Guys. Where where is Slasher? I don't know actually. What happened to him? Well, they get confused as well because there's two slashes, right? Yeah, there's a slasher two. and then slasher. Oh. So the two, uh, yeah, slasher, whatever. Slasher, I call him slasher. Two guys I miss is slasher and one dude nicknamed pirate. I think uh, old 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 school Dota players would remember him. Uh, he used to only play Sand King like every single game in pods. <laughs> Just say, he had like two thousand Sand King games. What, legend, living le legend of oh, Dota. Man. I mean, like you say, then, you know, you gotta feel the same way about Chrysalis. Because you know, I said Thousand earlier. I just yeah. remembered it's not Thousand. He has 2,000 Monkey King games. 
How the hell? Like the hero even came yeah. out a few years ago. Like how how did you manage? It, oh, exactly. Whatever. Like literally just every game. Um, Fishman. It's okay. You know, it's just the spring factor of ten as he goes down again. But uh, no, I recall queuing with Chrysalis, and usually all he does is plays Legion Commander and Monkey. He's under attack. But he plays Legion Commander as a plus one and builds Battle Fury. <laughs> To each his own, you know, it's it, Dota is a beautiful game. You can He's make anything playing, work. Liz, okay? He clearly knows something we don't. Yeah. Oh, play. Last okay, two is down in Dendi, but uh, this is going to backfire. I don't think you want this fight anymore. The last should be able to run way down. It's going to be close, but Dendi gets the kill. He can't move away, though. He had the mana though, right? He had like 800 I, mana I, remaining. No, it was the turn rate. He yeah. wanted to turn, because he wanted to go this way, right? But yeah. the sticky napalm means that you can't turn quick enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. He, he just needed to go straight with ball lightning. He would have survived, but you know. But then he would have been ball lightning down towards the tier one tower. It's yeah. a tough one to get yeah. out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a good play from them. They are making this combo. Well. Yeah, they're making this combo really work. Um, Storm is pushing the the lane and he's playing on the map. He's showing himself, and because of that, Bat Rider is 100% gonna go and try and kill him. But Nyx Assassin is always there, you know, to help him out. And there we go. He TPs away from top. He's escaped. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, last hero. Uh, he's not gonna be the last hero to fall in this fight, but will he be the first? Jump in. Miracle. Mana is going very quick. He realizes it's too late. The Chrysalis has the difficult line. Last year is going to be chased on. Do Cypher's going to be there? He will fall, but what is the price going to be? At what price? Mind control will be able to no. get out. No price. <laughs> no price. Well, they did the take down. Yeah, the they bird. did take. They did take down Miracle, right? So that's the price. Ember is dying. And really, for Nigma, it's all about this Ember. Like, he, he's the one that's supposed to carry you this game. And uh, he had a complete free farm in the laning stage but they are finding ways to kill miracle and that way most of the time is called five up dota so far at least just the characters into name? impale yeah oh okay we're gonna rename it five up dota at this rate because yeah he's doing really well look at look at his golden his next projected item he's not too far off a spirit vessel which against the necrophos this bat rider oof. game is gonna be very hard for nigma zeros we I'm also about this in the draft though, like Nyx as a hero and how it it kind of counters so many ways you want to play, right? It just feels like such a strong hero that's surprising we don't see more of it. I mean, he was seen in almost every single game a few months back, so I'm happy we don't see him as often anymore. Carapace arguably is one of the most broken spells in the game when it's buffed up, you know, because it's just such a crazy mechanic on such a long cool such a small cooldown. No, it's true. Uh, you know, it's it's your classic counter to all your Dagon build. Cap. But no, the, the bigger deal was they changed his talent, right? So you couldn't just chain stun anymore. Yeah. That, we don't pay attention to that death unless there's immediately going to be a punishment because last hero is... He's doing his piece, Liz. They're doing he's the same thing. With his life. Uh, they're doing the same thing on the bottom lane. You see, Dandy, he's pushing. Meanwhile, five up. He's around. He's covering him. This time around, Vendetta will not last long enough, though. So, Dandy might not be as covered as before. And the trade going the way Nigma instead. I mean, you did bring a Storm Spirit and a Nyx to push, while Nigma brought not only more heroes but bare heroes for hitting cars. There is a uh, Desolator, I believe, completed now on Miracle as well, right? It's flying over to him. Yep. Is it? Yeah, it is. So that's completed. Mech is completed on Mind Control. That Desolator benefits Ember a lot, but it also benefits Visage, who has a Medallion completed. That's a whole lot of minus armor that you can work with from now on. And as Nigma, you can't really see that true position one that's as hard position one as a PL. But if they work together, you know, they, they can definitely take anyone down. I love that, you know, the, the teamwork. Oh. United, you are stronger. Bottom lane, you Dandy. Well, uh, uh, United, you are stronger. They bring more heroes, not that they were really needed to bring down Dendi. Still so goddamn squishy at this stage in the game. And that's, that's painful because he just got his bloodstone. 
Yeah, five up or sub, he just wasn't there this time. He was close enough, but GH just plays a really good game. He hooks in, he separates them, and then he cocks five five up Dota away from uh, Dandy. Really well played. There's a smoke from Nygma as well. Yeah. Well, they, can they bring down Crystalis? He hasn't got the Manta yet. So the answer should be yes. If they can get the right angle. It's not the easiest target though. They're looking for something else. Instead, they're going to walk into the sports hook shot in on a Fishman. Five ups nearby. Can he save the day? The Glimmer Cape to try and help, but they see the Enchantress and stun control. He's got nope, they need detection right now. He's going to be able to get away from this. Instead, they're going to turn around on GH who's out of mana now and being burnt up pretty quick. And mana, ball lining through. Denny will be able to find that pick. He should be able to chase forward onto Miracle if he wants to, and they will do so. They'll drag him in. Chris just needs to burn through this mana quickly. He doesn't have an illusion army to work with. Instead, they'll be able to move away. Hero's buzz are allowing we to get in the fight. My back's going to come out, and now Crystal's went way too deep. They bait him in. They have got this Scythe available, but no, they're going to get it just in time. Just maximum range. Allows them to get the kill. 75 seconds on the sideline for the Phantom Lancer. It looks like Last Hero will make it out. Take an ally with him, but not the one they should have done as they lose their Phantom Lancer. Man, just as this, this is Rosh, by the way, but just as this fight was about to happen, I wanted to say, why doesn't PL join the fight? He's got Diffusal, he's got Hood, you know, he's ready. <laughs> and then this happens. But that was a bit too deep. The way he joined the fight was fine. The way he ended the fight was not. He went way, way too deep with that PL and he got punished for it. You can see the, there was that moment, right? When the second remnant goes back from the Ember, it's almost like Dendi and Chris are just looking at each other and going, we killed, right? It's almost like they forgot that in the 23 minutes in, this tier one is still standing for Nigma. Like you don't mm. have numbers advantage in those situations ever. Oh, last okay. hero. That's been found by GH. They'll push him back again, but the Glimmer won't protect him as they have the dust, they'll have the kill. With that Aegis on them, I really think this is going to be uh, a push very soon. Mid lane, mind control. Can you get firm in time? He's so tanky. I, I think you need to leave this right now. You can already see the Nygma are converging from the dire jungle. Five up will go for the TP out, but the birds are going to be there. No escape for the pesky Nicks. Dude, I, I just disappeared for a minute. The draft almost took a, took off my window from the apartment. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A anyway, back to the game. Nyx falling. He was he was so close to the vessel as well. But this is literally the biggest po power spike of Nigma, and this is where they're gonna pressure so hard. It's on bait to try and find a way to weasel their way out to try and get this PL to his next power spike. You just have to learn to buy time here. Like if they can buy, I'd say probably another five minutes, then your PL, you know, that stage will have Manta and be halfway towards Basha. Then it becomes a hero that can compete still. As long as he doesn't chase halfway across the map by his team. It becomes easier, but it, it doesn't become easy. Let's put it that way, because the BKB is completed on Bat. The BKB is about to be completed on Ember or Ember mid lane. Oak shot in. Ember is out of mana, so he will give over that first life. Five up his spot and Scythe straight away on the Nyx. They know that he's most of the lockdown for Bay. GH, mana being burned. Jump in by Dendi, looking for the easy pick off, and they'll find it. Can Seven they get more? It's about your clock. They might look for it. They know that there's no easy way for clock to get in this fight soon. They did fight back on the Nyx. They need something, but Nigma so quick to disengage. Yeah, that, that buyback might have been a little bit unnecessary, knowing how it ended, but it's hard to decide in that moment. I think you buy back most of the time. You try and go take a fight because you took the Aegis off, you killed the clock oh, as well. Oh, uh, uh, that, that buyback's about to turn into a dieback, Liz. Buyback's gone again. Oh, he flew for the sun and he got burnt. And as a result, now death for 60 seconds. All of a sudden, bait are the ones on the run because the Nyx is their initiation. And we they still have lasso. Initiation. They do indeed. They'll catch on the last hero. The BKB means that they can't even ruin him up. Last hero is separated from his team. We'll try to go for the TP out. And on the side, Dendi controlling up. Miracle will get him low down to half HP. They're going to go for it now. This too greedy though. The root's going to come up straight away. He baits himself in. Dendi. Bloodstoning up. Glimmer Cape trying to reduce the damage. Crystal is in, but he needs to get out now. He knows he's just there to try and frustrate the side of Nyx. Most importantly, they do at least keep Dendi alive, but they do lose the Underlord as well. Mm. They lost two heroes.
Uh, not... I mean, these fights are still going really, really well for Nigma, and they're keeping the pressure up. The PL, as long as he's fighting like this, he's not farming. Because of that, if you click on him, the item build is not changed, has not changed for the last five minutes. He still is to complete his Manta, and he's had it queued up forever now. Why? Because he's joining every single small skirmish that's around his base, and that's because Nigma is constantly pressuring so close to the high ground i think crystal is sh should just chill out a little bit and try and finish his items yeah bait can feed a little bit but they're gonna feed regardless you know just go and finish your items come online with a true power spike i guess it's that feeling like you you like oh my storm spirit has a bloodstone i need to make sure he doesn't die so you feel even more pressured to try and protect them save a hero syndrome definitely kicking in a bit Looks like he's more or less got that ore morb though. Just needs to go buy it now. Him on the mid lane. Moving in. We will not be able to jump from the spike. Carapace buys enough time. Five up. Or does it? He didn't turn around for the stun at all. But now Dendi will jump straight into the weave because there's no lasso. BKB will be forced out. Dendi needs that DD if he's actually going to make the kill happen. But he's not even going for it. He doesn't know about it. And instead, he's down to half mana. He needs to actually escape quickly. They know he's there's there. a hook. There's a, a hook. hook yep. Look at last hero though. No, he couldn't block it in time. Instead, he'll be stunned as well. Dendi needs an out right now and there it is he'll be able to tp away they'll chase forward last hero has to give his life though no chance he'll be able to uber out here in time yeah so this pipe on him i think it's good i guess the hood is pretty good versus necro the pipe is good versus bat i thought he was gonna rush uh, crimson i think he didn't rush it because he's thinking okay this is just uh you know a uh, position four or even five he's not going to be dishing out as much damage i'm not so sure about that top lane gh yeah gh will go down miracle has to activate the bkb this is not a fight that you want though he actually needs to leave he's gonna live life to the fullest or is he gonna live it to the end just barely alive of 100 hp we'll be able to get away that does allow time for enigma reinforcement to arrive but kuro also needs to be careful chris is gonna go for the tp away as he knows the necro is coming and has the sight he needs an out right now but he'll have to stand and fight. Create the army and go. Do they know which one is real is the real question. They're going to clear off the illusions quick enough that, yep, they can just siphon it up. In fact, they hold on. They're not going to go for the site. They save it. And they turn around and use it on Fishman instead. But he had the Glimmer Cape, so he won't spend longer on the sideline, but they will be dead for quite a while. PL down for 60. Yeah, the, he, him trying to TP away when Visage was so close was a little bit risky. The Grave Chill gives them movement speed, he flies on top of him, finds him in the right moment and stuns him. Uh, but it, it was difficult because they were trying to kill off that Ember, and that's a valiant attempt. We stunned yeah. up. Oh, not for long, BKB. He'll chase forward, 5 up will go down, Dendi out. It just feels like they keep trying to find kills for Dendi's Bloodstone, and every time, they're the ones who are spilling the blood. They can't, though, can they? Like, the only t oh. hero I think they should be trying to kill is either the Visage or the Ember. But even the Ember with his 9 second BKB right now is very difficult to kill. Bottom lane, last hero, does have his ulti to use. He's like, just leave me alone. Just leave Bottom me the hell alone. Top lane, mind control as well. This is a really good kill if you can get it. And he has used the Shroud already. But Ember's coming, they're being baited, they need to get the hell out. Just from the Glimmer Cape to escape. They don't have detection, but they will see him very soon. He knows he needs to activate the heal because stuff's about to get real bad. Chrysalis is here again, though. Group, but Miracle with the BKB. Fishman will be brought down. They'll just go, okay, it's an Enchantress for a long BKB charge. I guess we have to accept that as a worthwhile trade. Maybe you should try to fight now after that BKB has been used. It's your chance. I mean, you don't have Fishman, but do you care about yeah, not having an Enchantress? This is a good smoke. They need to find a way to... Uh, force a fight now. It's awkward though. Just look how clustered Ningma are. If you go up into these choke points, it can backfire very easily. But they know that they're on the line. You know, the clock is ticking. They'll find a kill on the Kuro. They need to actually flip this into a secondary if they can. Maybe a tier 1 mid. Maybe that's That would thing. be perfect. Yeah. Like they need it soon as well, because actually if you look at this Necrophos, he's almost got the Radiance complete. And we've seen how much he invalidates Crystal on this PL right now. If that yeah. Radiance gets complete, before they find some Radiant big objectives, they're in trouble. It's gonna be even more, exactly, yeah. The Battle Fury also being picked up by Ember. So they're gonna have a Battle Fury, a Radiance on Necro. Um, they're just itemizing so well versus uh, Crystalis. 
They're just finding every single thing they need to take him down. You can see how badly 5-Up wants to set something up. The problem is there's more heroes here than you have. And the Scythe, so they don't have to worry about the Nyx for a long time. No buyback either, and they know it. They're still on cooldown. There's the DD Yoink by Dendi, so at least they won't have that when uh, they will be pushing, and they should be pushing very early now. Very soon now. Rush might respawn in a minute or two. But I, I guess tier 1 on the bottom lane, tier 2 on the bottom lane, then into the pit. That should be the game plan for uh, Nigma. Question right. is whether Bay can do anything before them. Will PL gamble on not having buyback? They can. I'll, I'll answer actually. that question right now. They can't. <laughs> they need to wait for Nyx first. You can't fight without Nyx. I, I mean, five... towards the pit though, right? Because there's still a minute and mm. 10 seconds until it's up. Yeah, five up. He had some really good Carapace initiations. But at the same time, he is always on an edge, right? He's always on the edge. He's trying to do so many plays that he makes five work, but five plays don't work and he dies, right? And uh, those times he, that he has died, I would argue that he has done more damage to his team just because you, you're missing that Nyx in your game. You don't have that um, extra pressure that will enable you to kill off these targets before they pop their BKBs. Yeah, you're so busy trying to be the initiation that you can't be the secondary initiation, right? Like, all of a sudden, we said this already, when you take Nyx out of the equation, what is Bates CC? What's the lockdown? What's this way of starting? Oh, the hook shot on the illusion. Okay. Yep, starts fighting the wrong place, but Christmas is nearby. They don't stun him up, however. Doppelganger and five, you can live long enough. Five up is here. Spike Carapace is going to come out, jump straight away on a miracle. They'll burst him down before he use the BKB. GH just trying to move away. The Spirit Vessel is on him, and Dendi in hot pursuit. They'll have the damage to bring him down and kill him off. Two dead on the side of Enigma, and this is perfect. This is exactly what Bait needed, because Roche is about to spawn in a moment. If they can find Necrofoss. This is the perfect cherry on top. However, last year is out. Storm Spirit protected by the Glimmer Cape, so they can't even try and just burst him down quick enough. And instead, we need to run, even with the BKB. It's running out soon. Kuro says, run, get out. We need at least one to tell the tale of how we lost here. So good. Like, that was perfect for Bait. Man, that, that's exactly what we were talking about. Let that, let this Nyx be the secondary stun. Don't make him, don't just put, put him into the fire, right? Let him give you Impale, Carapace versus the Ember. Miracle though, he though so hard that I was surprised he didn't preemptively BKB. That, that was very interesting. I'm not sure why he didn't. Yeah, remember when we were saying that, you know, you're too close to Enigma's towers, it's too risky, there'll be reinforcements. You're, you're just outside the base when you make that play. You know there's going to be repercussions for it. You know the Nyx is alive again, and now you know they're in the Roche pit, but there's nothing you can do about it. All of, a all of a sudden, bait. They get exactly what they need to be back in this game. Aegis on a Storm Spirit of all heroes, and his cheese on a PL is getting pretty far. They just have to continue pushing now. Continue pushing the tempo, continue searching the, the kills. Exactly. Oh. Just to see you later. However, it is a Storm Spirit, so... He's food legs all you want. He's still going to hunt. Oh, needs to be a bit careful. This would be an awkward way to give over an Aegis already. Yules to try and dispel out. This is Yules still find the kill on the clockwork. Hunt for more. They'll be able to find it as they get rid of Kuroki as well. BKP jump in. Five up is low. Nyx will be brought down. Will you be able to find more though? We with the BKB. He needs the last two target, but who's the optimal one? They need to drag away. They get the wrong illusion. They actually baited them. Oh my, they glimmer keep the illusion and they completely That was so me. good. That was so good. That glimmer was so good. Not only did he... Uh, no, last of that illusion. They used two BKBs as well in that fight. Ember Spirits is down to seven seconds. Bat Riders is down to what five seconds already. So his BKB is very short. That that was perfect for uh, Bait for Dendi and the boys. Because remember, they didn't use Aegis. They didn't use Cheese. They're still fine. Nyx Assassin is the only one that died. And it's a fine line of skirt in there, right? Because you see how low Dendi gets. There is a risk. But the upside is so valuable in the end. Hmm. And now he's got another DD on this Storm Spirit. So next fight, I mean, we saw what he done near the outpost top last time when he had a DD in his bottle. No, they Especially just need to go again. No, they just need to go again instantly. Smoke up again with Nyx. Search for another fight. There's yeah. no reason for them to slow down the tempo right now. Don't give them a chance to recover. It's not like they have any new items soon. You can already see Kuro's trying to go for a sheep stick. Ags, clockwork still a long way away. Valfury's still not complete for the Ember either, and they jump straight into the clockwork. 
find him, pick him off. All lining in. Denny looking for more, and look what he'll find. The last two will drag one away, but the Dipu to slow down. BKB comes out too late. Five back out from GH. Needs to ride quickly. Five up. Knows he's going to tick out for this once again. All the attention on him, not on Chrysalis, who still has the cheese to work with. Can eat it any moment if he feels friend. Hook shot in. He'll need to eat that cheese. He'll be able to get it off. And now chase for Miracle gets bashed. He's out of mana. No. No easy way out. This is going to hunt forward. Sykes is going to come out. Won't be enough to kill the underlord. He'll make it out. Denny is in deep, but it's deep enough and important enough of a kill if they can find Miracle. He has enough mana, though. He'll be able to escape. Chrysalis is going to be brought down. Denny back in a mess. BKB needs to find the kill onto the Ember. There's going to be a remnant away, but he baits him out in the wrong way. Denny needs to run for the high hills. He knows the BKB's running out soon, and he knows he's been outplayed. He'll at least get out of this. But that was not the way Bait wanted this fight to be going. Alright. I just want to see Bait do well, you know. And they're already putting up a much better performance than any of the other games in the past. It, with the old iteration of this team, right? But uh, that's that was so sad. Then he goes in. He just wants the W so much that he zooms past all his teammates. He goes back like in the radiant jungle, finds Necro, finds Visage, but he's far away, far away from his teammates who are fighting a completely different fight. Oh. oh. Well, the fight is very clear for Dendi this time. It's it's in your base. Well, it's just out your base. It's about to be in your base again. But I don't really know what that... GH is just testing his buttons. It's only a 30 second cooldown on the hook shot anyway. And look at this. The sacred item when you're holding. They have yeah. clip as well. But it's so hard to defend, right? There is the Desolator. There is the Visage Birds hitting. Even with the repair kit, is it enough? Well, Dendi is trying to get rid of the extra creep wave, but he misses one. And they've got the creeps long enough that they'll be able to get the melee racks, range racks, and back away. Oh god, look at him, he's just a machine gun at this point. Solar crest, drums. Let me right click things, I don't even need slide first. She also has Orb of Destruction, right? So much minus armor coming from these heroes and these items. And a message is sent to bait in that fight. One more slip up, and we'll take the rest. What is your move? You already see the Dendi. It's a long way to go, but I, I like that he's doing this. He's going for Ags next. You just need more lockdown. It's a fort that's yeah. been a long time coming. Five up, of course, has easy ways to do it now with the Blink Dagger, and he's always got that clumsy net to play around. It's just, they you... just have to clump up together in these fights. They can't, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in that last fight, they had Ages and Cheese, and they still lost it. Clockwork, uh, clock shot. They're going to lose a hero here. I said Blink Dagger is good, but not if they're already on top of you. He'll try and move away. He's relatively tanky, but nowhere near tanky enough. Mm. That's 450. Oh, There's more. a... Lasu. Press Real PL. Found. They need to actually protect him. They can't let that PL fall. He'll try and move away the Doppelganger. The Roots try and slow them down, and now they'll try and Uber out of here. If Underlord lives long enough, that is. Enchantress will get out as well. Enigma. Force to use another big BKB. They're already down to the five seconds on Miracle. Yeah, that's a five-star Uber right there. Didn't talk a lot. Just got you home. <laughs> That's it. 4.8 4. stars. He left our drunk friend behind who was on the other side of the map. What's your Uber star rating, by the way? Oh, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm not five. I'm not five. Someone someone what, gave me what some. What have you done in someone's car? I'm, I'm 4.9 or something. Man. It's, it's sad. Yes. I, I don't want to know what you've done to frustrate that one person. Okay. Who knows? You know when Pro you get those really nice... Uber drivers that are over the top, like they're offering you sweets and stuff. And you're like, I mean, <laughs> it feels nice. weird. This right? is also really dodgy. Yeah? <laughs> There's like water waiting for you. There's some candy, you know. Ah, it's, I'm gonna pass, dude. Thank you. The, the worst one is when you're in a different country. I remember I had it once in Germany. He offered me loads of sweets. I'm like, I don't even know if these are real sweets or some sort of dodgy drugs that have been wrapped up. Because so I you win. So you win people. either way. Why are you like? <laughs> I, I took everything, buddy. Okay? That's it. That's the play. My, my Store mid lane. Oh, There's the lasso. Jumping, dragging back. He's got the BKB, but no chance to even use it. The scythe, 125 seconds dead. He doesn't have buyback. He's 270 gold short. And Nigma are gonna find this out very quick as they push forward. They might have chased for more, even Chrysalis. I, he, yeah, he's not level 25. It's not like he's got doppelganger shenanigans. But they haven't got the heroes close enough. They got hook shot, but they got plenty of heroes in the way of clockwork, so no clear line of sight. Okay, so one good thing with that is the fact that they were chasing PL, they weren't killing creeps, and now none of these lanes are pushed in. Because of that, it's going to take a little bit of time for Enigma to actually get to the high ground. Um, 
not too much time but yeah they can't just pressure tier threes instantly yeah it might be enough time to get storm up also they they are not aware if he has buyback or not and if you're enigma you saw that he doesn't have a new item and because of that you're expecting him to actually have the buyback so uh, yeah you have and to it's be that cautious. type of hero that holds buyback until the last moment right like you want to draw them in before you commit a buyback for a hero like storm anyway mm. just so you can see the back line and jump it straight away oh, we'll see if they can actually get on the high ground they are somewhat reluctant don't blame them. The heroes are up against like an Underlord and a Nyx and a choke point can easily spell death. However, the only thing that's spelling death right now is Fishman. Damn, that DD. His own blood. That DD one shotted by Ember. It hurts a little bit, not gonna lie. Buyback comes out from Fishman. They're gonna use the repair kit as well. This still could just be them holding the storm buyback in the eyes of Enigma. Hence why they don't commit everyone to the high ground. And it looks like they, they might get away with this. Because Nygma are not willing to go deep. Incoming. Yeah, that's so crazy. Like, if they just didn't chase the PL in the first place, if they just pushed the waves, right? If they ignored the PL, pushed the waves in, um, they would have gotten so much more. But, uh, yeah, they, they did what almost any given player would do. They tried to get that extra kill. I mean, kills are nice, you know, because you've been there, Liz, when you've got, you got what I like to call the, uh, I call it the Cinderin score, just because whenever I see him play Nyx, it looks bad. No offense. I have since had good games, but every time I've ever, like, tuned into him, it's like 1-15-12. Even if you win that game, all right, you don't feel good about how it looks from your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> poor Cinderan, poor Cinderan, man. He gets so him, much flack for no reason. For real, whenever I see him play Nyx, I don't know why. I think it's just I'm his curse. Whenever I tune into his pub games, exactly. It's just, up. it's just you. You're a curse. Leave Sin alone, man. Sin is great. That's true. I'm a curse upon Sin. You're a curse upon Bait. You know, we've been over this already. Oh, bait, don't uh, get to see I'm actually story. very pleasantly surprised by uh, by Bait and the way they played. It's oh, it's absolutely. much much better than any other series. It, it, it looks coherent. It looks like they actually have a plan within get within the game. We BKB hook shots the fluff. Chrysalis tries to dodge out the last two. We'll be able to do so temporarily. Now he's ready to fight. Gonna force them away. They need to get out. The bash straight away under mind control does have the ghost shroud though. Chrysalis is gonna ignore him. Go for a different target. On to Miracle. Burn the mana quickly. Just enough time to move away. Now the last two is finally gonna be there. Chrysalis. They wanna bring him down. Side straight away. He does have buyback, but won't need it. The Glimmer King keeps him alive again. And actually, they find Miracle. Chrysalis trying to move away in the meantime. They're still chasing on top. They want this kill so badly, but they are getting tunnel visioned hard. Maybe they bring him down, but now what's the price gonna be? Buyback straight away. And all of a sudden, Nick in a little bit too deep. Last hero. Dragging their attention to the side. Needs to root them up to try and find some easy kills for the PL. Movement forward. Dendi is going to drag back Kuroki. The stun follow-up is good and he'll be brought down. Maybe they can find more. Dendi does have half mana and he'll hunt straight forward under the clockwork. Gets on top of him says no easy pushback or away. GH does have the hook shot. Spike Caps will stop him from using it. Although they can't quite get the stun out. There it is across the camp. But it's a short camp away. And they can get the impale. They'll be able to get the stuns out. The That's straight into the board. pit. That is yeah. Roche for bait. And mm -hmm. just in a perfect time because they did buy back on that PL. Straight into the pit. It's so good that he had that buyback to use. He uses that buyback instantly into the pit to take down Roche. And it's an uh, agonist actually as well. Wow. Uh, so maybe. Just maybe give it to him. Yeah, just give it buyback. to him. Yeah, save for buyback. Give agonist to Storm Spirit. Give. Uh, I think Chrysalis should take the Aegis this time around just because he doesn't have a buyback. We'll see what they uh, do with it. It looks like Storm has opened up a slot. So did Phantom Lancer, though. I want it. No, I want it. Just everyone click the ground as quickly as possible. Actually, it's them. Right, yeah. uh, they, 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 I don't think they realize there's an axe there. They're actually... Uh, they're they're the hunting we Don't use it. Wee's dead. 100 seconds dead. Has spyback. Will probably be forced to use it at this rate. Okay, who's getting this axe? Because... Hey. Last hero is walking around with it. You can know. You just know right now it's good. It's not gonna be his. It's <laughs> definitely not gonna be Underlord. I don't think you give it to him. And I hope. Uh, pro probably the worst hero to give it to is Enchantress. Right after that, it's Underlord. So. I, uh, it, it can work. It uh, yeah. has to be Storm, surely. It's actually it's decent to Nyx as well. Now that you have said it. 
It's a pretty I... good item on X, but That's yeah, true. Storm is Storm there is the is. hero that gets it. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of already knew when he switched items from Axe because he's been mm. fixed out on that for a while. The moment mm -hmm. he queues up Sheev, is like, oh, this is great. Free yeah. item. So right now, uh, bait. All they have to do is try and kill Miracle as fast as possible. And for Enigma, the game plan in these next team fights should be rescue Miracle. Just try to keep him alive as long as possible because he will dish out all the damage that you need. He has a Daedalus, Desolator, Battle Fury. He hits extremely hard if he crits. So in that last fight, they kind of left him stranded. He was soloed by a Storm and Nyx Assassin. No one was helping him. Visage was around, but couldn't really assist, oh. so... Speaking of that, Nyx... Just help. If he sees him here... They gave Nyx the axe, by the way. Stun. Burrow in, if you want. Or just stand there and kill him. He's dead. Perfect pick-off. They knew this was coming as well. You're playing against this Nyx. I, Neymar have been playing so well against 5-Up, actually, up to this point. And now, all of a sudden, the most crucial pick you mentioned... They find it. Mm-hmm. He's dead for 80 and they're right next to the tier 2s. They need to wait the creep wave a little bit. You can see GH out pushing top, Batrider out pushing bottom. So at best what they will get here is a tier 2, maybe a tier 3. Remember that... Can delay them. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember that they also do not know if Ember has a buyback or not. He didn't buy back no, before. So, yeah, so they're assuming that he does have it. And because of that, they won't be really as... Uh, you know, offensive. They won't be so determined to just hit the tier trees. I mean, we say that. Then again, they do have an Aegis and Cheese. The problem is, of course, they did give the Aegis to Dendi. So, Chrysalis, he is still a potential liability if he gets caught out. Yeah, I, I think it's just not smart to push any longer. If you are a bait, you don't have to be aggressive. You're just gonna get stronger. Your your best play right now is to wait out that uh, buyback on Chrysalis and then play off of that. Fishman? Yeah, he's the, that Fishman. He's a very tanky Fishman. So I see that with Shaco. He's like, okay, you're gonna have to commit more spells if you want me. Uh, they didn't drag. No, he stopped them getting to the high ground. They'll get him up there again, but my god, is he wasting their time? <laughs> this is like, is anything great. else? Anything else? <laughs> I mean, at the end, you're like, no, okay, you you done this. This is the price you pay. 130 seconds dead and a minute without buyback. But that's a mind control without a sight for 100 seconds as well. So if you're bait, that's not too bad for you. Maybe you can search for a fight now. Radiant you do have ages. You do have cheese. Attack. You could actually search for a fight. That's true. They go, we're Bay, you must be Bay. Nice to meet you. Let's see if they're going to make someone happen because they're pushing in around bot. But Nygma is already playing away from that area of the map, which means they are going to fall for this tier two. Yeah, there's so really nothing. Mm. Okay, there is something for Nygma up top. That's the outpost. As you can see, bounties are about to spawn. 15 minute mark. Also, you get the experience. So. They got something there. Well, let's see if they can get more as this goes on. Yeah, we're 10 minutes out from those disgusting late game items. This, this feels like a game that could actually extend that far as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this lasted way, way longer. Is lasting way longer than I expected. And it's going so well for Bates right now. Batrider, however, oh. yeah. He's looking for the throw. Oh no, is he he's not going to be fooled. He sees when the smoke actually went off. He knows someone else is here, but last year is out. As the last two used again, not the found for it. No, not the vulnerable target he once was. Dark Rift was used as well, right? So that's true. When it, but when you it comes that's to... the uh, old panic. I need to get out of this belt, right? Like, yeah, but when it, com that when it comes to cooldowns, it's actually favored for Batrider. It's just about what these two heroes like to do. Batrider likes to catch all the time. He likes to be in front while. Uh, last hero, he's kind of chilling. Without Dark Rift, it's not really the worst thing, right? Yeah, and I think that the kind of comparative there, right, is that uh, the last few being gone at that crucial moment when Aegis is firing means you can still be out on the map as bait. You're not worried about that pick instantly, not to mention the smoke, which was used by Nygma. Yeah, but what, was it the smoke or just what, was it the smoke or just ninja gear on, on bat? Ooh, I'm not that's sure. That's a fair point. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's in a smoke now. He is alone in that smoke. 
It's just Nyx Assassin and Bat. They both have ninja gears and they're just constantly on a hunt. Oh yeah, yeah, it's ninja gear. I hate that they, there's not a different icon for ninja gear. So you're like, oh, why is this, why is this idiot here smoked alone? Like, oh, he's not an idiot. Huh. Oh, I'm the idiot. Whoops. He's going again. There it is. Lasso. How long is it going to take you this time? Because last time... Oh, that, that's much quicker. Mm-hmm. That'll do it. Yeah, they still don't have a buyback on PL. And because of that, I think they're reluctant to play together. You can see that... They're close, though. Yeah. You, usually, if an Enchantress gets initiated like that, an Enchantress with Witless Shackle, that's a perfect opportunity for you to go and try to take a fight. But uh, just because they don't have a buyback and he's queued up Satanic, I guess they're a bit reluctant to go for it. They have now got an increase in the deeps, though, as Dendi just picked up the Orchid. Some prime targets in this game for that thing as well. Especially with the BKBs being so short, there's potential to hit up the cores within the second part of the fight. Which means that Miracle Ember we were talking about, who's the way that Nikma wins this game, is still even more exposed. In fact, it makes you wonder where's the Lotus Gamers at? That's the thing, they don't have a safe way of protecting, they don't have a dispel, right, against this Orchid. No, they don't have any saves overall in this game. Like nothing. You have the Aghanims on clock now though, so overclocking his way, that's gonna be cool. He's been using it just to farm, I guess. Uh, yeah, cause... I've seen GH do this build before and he uses it to keep waves pushed out, right? It's yeah. not about double hook shot, it's about double rocket flare. Yeah. But uh, the double hookshot is really strong in fights as well. It, yes. It's quite cool. Not only the hookshot, you can do everything right twice. So mm -hmm. it's pretty and most importantly, the cooldown is really low. 60 seconds on the overclocking. Things coming out. Miracle, jump in. They fluff the stun though. They got the spike carapace, and now the abyssal fall up as well. They're going to try and bonus mana, but they can't actually get the fall stun. And no, Dendi, he's in trouble. BKB though, he'll be able to stay alive. Lashley's going to be there. Won't be able to survive through this though. The right clicks will bring him down. Dead for 100 seconds, has to fire back. Christmas chased on two as well. Needs to get inside last year's ring so he can be ubered out. That's another five star Tires ring as they escape once more. But it attack. did cost them the buyback of Dendi, and they still are without a Nyx. Mm. That's the problem. He bought back, and because of. He bought back, but they still can't fight because Nyx is dead, right? So, at best, what they can do now is defend. Roshan could be up already, they don't know that. It's actually going to be up in 1 minute and 40 seconds, but... It could have went much, much worse for Bait if it was already there. Did you see in there's... their eyes, yeah. they imagine it's much worse, though. That's why they've smoked, right? They're like, they, for all mm -hmm. they know, Rosh is up right this second. And uh, now they'll realize it's not when they see Nigma in the mid lane. They need to jump in. Buyback comes out from Nick. Sun straight away on the next boss. Nice control with the vortex out from Dendi. Gonna get my control low. Go Stroud. Try and stay alive. But no BKB. 15 seconds. We just try the last two. They're giving the storm. That's gonna be the dieback. He's dead. Mind control will go down as well. But Crystal needs to make a lot happen now. He's still with the cheese to work with. So he can bait them out and get himself low before he has to heal up. And there it is. On the Kuro next. Trying to bring him down. They'll be able to do so. Hook shot though on the back line. The supports are dead. And Chandra's has to buy back for bait. Nigma still have the numbers advice for the moment. They'll be able to bring down Crystal. Spyback is gonna be there. This is do or die. As Nigma moving towards the base, they're looking forward. We he hasn't got the abilities to lock anyone down right now. And there it is. Nigma are all in on this. But the Abyssal's gonna be there. Maybe a little bit too late because Wee's gonna be brought down. He is willed through and killed off. Crystal's down to half HP has to back away though, because that ember hits so goddamn hard. He's going to have still. Satanic right now. It's flying over from the side shop to him. So he's I'll going to be very tanky, well. yeah. He's going to be very tanky on, on uh, PL, but is it enough? Satanic actually is completed, yeah. There's a window here. They have no hook shot, no overclock for 15 seconds. BKB jump in, last you out straight away. They're trying to bring him down, but can they do enough? They're going to get him low, side through, and the Underlord is gone. Buy back instantly. Now, they need to go. Chrysler is trying to move in. Abyssal straight away on a miracle. Going to burn through the mana quickly here, but BKB gets that big Pierre. No, can they get him? They're going to try and bring him down. He's trying to save time with Slayer Fist. Four stuff to get him out and away, but he's ruined. Still in the pit. Final movement away with the Renault. We'll get him out. Chris, there's 140. He's got the Satanic. Rapier. He doesn't have one. He's got the Rapier. He needs to hit something right now to life steal up. He's doing it. Can he stay alive? No. Uh. Root is not going to be enough. They turn around him. He's going to be brought down. And now he's Underlord against the world. And he is going to be overwhelmed by the forces of Enigma. They should be able to bring him down. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's not enough. That's not enough. The storm. 
he's going you to probably to yeah he's gonna resurrect to a yeah. dead throne right here oh man that's so intense oh they have a fortification okay yeah nix is up in 17 as well I mean, they got heroes, but where's the rapier sitting right now? It's on the Necrophos, so you don't have to worry about Necrophos right clicks as much, but it doesn't matter. The throne's exposed, the game is done with fate. It was close, but no cigar in game one as it goes away, Enigma. Oof. Man, I was... The, who would have thought 56 minutes game bait versus Enigma in which bait really had the chance at every single second. It,